We begin with extra perspective on a tense breakup between the city of El Paso and the El Paso Zoological Society. And this week, the city announced it'll allow the decades old contract that ties the two together to expire. Good evening and thank you for joining us for ABC 7's 10 at 10. I'm Stephanie Valle. And I'm Paul Seacock. That contract with the Zoological Society is set to come to an end on Sunday. And ABC 7 Sam Harrison Witz is live in the studio with extra depth. Sam. Stephanie, Paul, the Zoological Society said this morning the two sides met to see if there was a way forward on a new agreement between the city and the Zoological Society. Meanwhile, the society's leaders are still reeling from the decision to not continue this 60 year old relationship. As of today, we haven't received clarification. We have no idea why um, why the decision was made, and it was made so quickly. ABC7 learned earlier this week that the contract between the city and the Zoological Society is coming to an end on Sunday, March 17th. The nonprofit would have to vacate the facilities on the zoo property. Leaders from the Zoological Society explaining to me that they are still trying to learn why the city is allowing the contract to expire. So this contract, this agreement, this memorandum of understanding, we, this is important to us because we want to continue that partnership. The city manager very much wants to leave the door open once we close out the current contract to allow the Zoological Society to think about how they would like to engage with the city. I asked Deputy City Manager Dion Mack why this decision was made and this was her response. But we now have 147 people out at the zoo. Um, and we know that across the organization, we are selling memberships, we are managing our volunteers. We know that those things can be managed with our existing staff. I also asked the city if there will be any additional burden to the taxpayers if the fundraising from the Zoological Society was no more. No. The, the zoo is funded by the city. It's a $10.1 million um, operation. All of the operations and the costs and expenses that they need on a daily basis are actually included within their adopted budget. Zoological Society leaders tell me they're concerned that all aspects of the zoo could be affected without their support, attention, and fundraising. They also say there is no precedent for a city not to have a support organization backing them up. There is no city-run zoo that operates on its own. Every single zoo has a support entity. I also heard from Zoological Society leaders that both parties say they want to engage in open dialogue to see if there's a chance for a new agreement to be made, although there is no time frame on the table at this moment. Live in studio, Sam Harris-Simowitz, ABC7.